Don't bet on Man City to win against Real Madrid in the rematch. Why? Once again, us in the first leg, because the odds are not worth it. This time they are much lower, which of course was totally expected. The problem is that the pressure on Man City and Guardiola will be tremendous. Real Madrid literally have nothing to lose. They proved in the first game that they can be totally even to Man City and even outplay them in the first periods of the game. I would say that Real Madrid were a bit unlucky not to win it. That's why the odds for Man City shouldn't be so low, but that's a great opportunity for us. Real Madrid will have Militao this time, which is a huge bonus for them. Real Madrid can make their net fortress and Courtois can be a magician in these games. The problem with Man City is simply their mentality in this tournament. Until they prove they are a Champions League material team, I can't trust them even if they are in their best form. Also, Real Madrid showed they know very well how to keep Haaland away from their net. The key for Los Blancos is employing a conservative approach early. City is going to be all out in attack mode from the opening whistle trying to gain an early edge so Madrid can't afford to get caught outnumbered at the back. In the first game, slowly but surely they began to make their ways towards the goal, eventually accomplishing it with a fantastic play by Vinicius Jr. To win the second leg at the Etihad, the team needs to improve their accuracy in front of the goal and play with the same intensity that helped them become champions. This is a 50-50 matchup, City was a clear favorite coming into the series, but after the first game at the Bernabeu, it is not so clear that Man City can take this. This game can go either way and maybe a genius play by either Vinicius or Haaland can tip the scales. So instead of betting on Man City to win at this low odds, bet on both teams to score at the odds of 8 to 13. Remember that these bets are for fun, but if you want to make money from professional betting, you can visit our website betting.com and start with our free subscription. Inter destroyed AC Milan in the first 20 minutes of the first game. Then they managed to hold the result 2-0. Now the Nerazzurri are a huge favorite to be the first team to reach the final of this year's Champions League. That's where it gets interesting. I will offer you a shocking bet, but hey, this is the Milan there, nothing is finished until it's finished. AC Milan have nothing to lose anymore. They will go there knowing that they must score two goals. They are already eliminated the champions of Italy, Napoli, so I don't think they are much scared of Inter. The main reason for these Inter goals is that AC Milan just started the game bad, but they of all teams know how much it hurts when you are already feeling champion and then everything is gone. I'm speaking about one game in 2005 in Istanbul. So I think the bookies underestimate AC Milan too much in this second game. Even if they don't eliminate Inter, I expect them to make it very intriguing match with a lot of crucial moments. So this time again I will bet for AC Milan. My prediction is AC Milan to win the game at the odds of 3-1. to What are your predictions for these games? Please share in the comments below.